along with my earlier comments, I think with the exception of today moving forward, we're going to have under this schedule, we're going to have about 22 different uh, uh, dates that the board will have opportunity to talk about budget issues, whether in brief or in detail, whatever the board. I certainly, when it comes to budget issues, I'll certainly try to make the time for board members to uh, interject any of their comments on priorities because I've said many times the budget is not just a set of numbers. It's a work plan, plan for the future of this county. So it's, it's extremely important to me. So I'll do whatever I can to make sure that the time is allocated. I guess you have to start up with a, uh, a schedule at some point, and, and this is a start. But this doesn't mean that we don't are going to take the opportunity to talk about budget priorities. And that's so. Well, I, you know, we really don't have any reasoning as to why the dates are as they are listed. Um, you know, given the scenario that we're facing, um, possibly we would want to look at some of those time frames. I don't know. I'm just, I just am throwing it out. I don't have any objection to anything here per se but just wanted to be able with two new board members to be able to say, oh, you know, here's our master budget calendar. Maybe we would like to talk about the significance of the dates, why they are the way they are. Does anyone have any input as to getting more upfront uh, input from board members perhaps? Why do we have the department meetings when we do? That kind of thing. So I didn't have any specific reference. Allison, you want to make comments to Tom? This, but uh, Allison Glass, the assistant CEO. This budget calendar was presented um, as a draft at the December workshop. Unfortunately, there wasn't time spent reviewing it and discussing it at that point. It is consistent with the action plan that was also presented on a draft basis in December. So I think that I would suggest having those discussions together. Uh, we can certainly go over it now if you want, or we can, you know, you could schedule time on the 13th to go <laughs> over it. But there are reasons why the dates were picked. It's synchronized with the workshops. And we believe that we truly have front-loaded it for getting the board involved as quickly as possible. The February 23rd date, which is the first workshop, we're expecting to be a very substantial workshop that will take um, more than just a half day <coughs> and the timing of that is related to that's when you get your mid-year budget information so until we have all of that and it takes a while to close out for the calendar year for December so February 23rd is when you get all that mid-year information and that's when you have your first discussion around pr board priorities so that's a really pivotal workshop and and we are putting a going to be putting a lot of effort into bringing an array of information that, that uh, you would want there. So that's kind of the, the first piece of it. But I think the other piece you have to look at is um, the, the CEO is scheduling the budget officer reports every week now so that there will be, you know, brief or longer updates depending on the information on a every meeting basis leading up to that. So that's just the first part of it. I don't know if you want to go through it now, and and uh, Jennifer can assist with that, or you can schedule the discussion some other time. So, Jennifer, did you have you stood up? You want to say something? Okay. Hi. Good afternoon. My first time dressing the board today. <laughs> Jennifer Wyatt, Deputy CEO. I um, guess I just wanted to add to that that um, in general, these dates are are picked because of the timing of being able to put presentations together, doing the supplemental documents, the timing of the state budget. We understand that right now this is unprecedented, and I was gonna talk about that today with my update to the board. Um, it's unprecedented on some of the actions that are being taken at the state level, therefore we're gonna be in constant influx of kind of changing our calendar to meet the state's actions that they do. However, at this particular point in time, these were the dates picked that we normally have to meet our deadlines to be able to get the information as quickly we, as we can to the board. Supervisor Colfax? Not so much to anything you've said, Jennifer. I, I appreciate what you've said. Um, 
I, I don't think we should be, as supervisors, responding to this. In other words, what's happening in the CEO's office, what's happening in putting together the budget and so forth, is something that is an internal department responsibility. I don't know what a, at what point we're going to look at drug and alcohol issues, but I also would not be interested in seeing when we're going to talk about what drugs, how much alcohol, and so forth over the next year. That's a departmental issue. Bring the items to us in, at the appropriate time. Particularly, and I'll pick up on what Jennifer's saying, is this is going to be a very fluid kind of thing, and I don't want to get in a situation where we're, we're jumping around and trying to meet schedules. I see this as, put it, as setting up a schedule as to how, at what time does the ship sink, okay? What time do you take out, you know, get everybody off the lowest deck and steerage and work your way up to first class, and we have dates for it or hours for it and so forth. I think this is fine, but there's an internal document from my point of view. We don't get month-long advances on virtually anything, and when we have the materials ready and when it's ready to be presented to us, fine. But this kind of detailing of where we'll be uh, on March 4th, on March 11th, 16th, 26th, what happens if we don't? What happens if we don't? What, what if I say, oh, I thought it was going to happen on April 7th? That's something that's worked out between the chair, clerk of the board, and the relevant staff. It's not something that supervisors need to take. I think this is kind of a, a level of micromanaging uh, or uh, implicit, it's not micromanaging, it's pseudo micromanaging. Uh, and I'm just saying here that uh, this kind of scheduling is fine, but it's not something for the supervisors to be concerned with. Stuff is, comes forward, we have an idea of when and how it comes forward, and uh, be adaptable, be flexible. I think what I'm, I guess what I'm getting at here is we have to have a certain degree of flexibility. And this document may look very ancient, very irrelevant as the folks in Sacramento and at the federal level do a whole bunch of things that really severely impact our budget. So information is fine, uh, but it's of the kind that uh, information noted, thank you. Okay? May I respond sure. to that? And Because I know other board members wish to speak. Um, this doesn't sound right, but historically we have shared the kind of work calendar with you that the executive office has followed. It does include dates that really have nothing to do with the board, but you might be interested in knowing when we send stuff out to department heads, when we meet with <coughs> them, et cetera. We make every effort to meet the time frames in this, and I believe over the last several years we have in fact met all of the deadlines that we have put in this because it's not just about our work, it's also about the work of the departments in responding to our requests to them, and it's about um, making information available to the public. So yes, the calendar does include dates that are not board dates. Um, those are for information purposes. Traditionally, we have brought the full calendar to you, though, for your adoption, and it's kind of the, the kickoff, if you will, of the new budget process, and at the same time, you formally designate the CEO as the budget officer and all of that, which is all kind of prescribed in the state um, code around how we address it. I see in being flexible and dealing with the state stuff is that we may add sessions, not that we would necessarily move stuff around. And um, the dates that are in here that relate to the board those workshop dates are also on the action plan which we were going to bring forward.